want to teach your dog to stop guarding things, then click that subscribe button and keep watching because today's episode is for you. I'm Brooke Fagel from Palm Springs Dog Training and you're watching Brooke's Weekly Treat. talk to you about a very important topic, resource guarding. Resource guarding is when a dog control access to food, people, or places that are important to him. Guarding resources is usually a manifestation of the dog's deep-rooted insecurity and inability to cope well in a social situation, even with people and other dogs he knows. For example, an insecure dog can see anyone as a potential threat to a resource, whether that resource is food, toys, space, a bed, or even access to a person. A resource guarder will not tolerate competition and will guard the resource to maintain priority access. The threats of losing the resource and the good feeling that the resource provides make the dog more vigilant and irritable. Because people often misunderstand why their dogs guard, and why there is social competition, many owners of resource guarders often get confrontational and angry with their dogs. Using physical punishment on a resource guarding dog is the exact opposite of what you need to do. The goal of today's video is to help you better understand the canine experience and work to instill more confidence in your dog so that he feels less threatened. Today's episode will focus on how to stop your dog from guarding his food bowl. Later episodes will cover resource guarding topics such as people, a dog bed, or toys. Step number one. This step is particularly important for dogs that have already shown signs of guarding their food bowl. Begin by changing the physical location of where you have previously fed your dog along with changing his food bowl. Step number two, vary feeding times so your dog never has a chance to become tense when his body clock tells him it's time to eat. Step number three, Utilize the empty bowl method. Pick up your dog's bowl and make it look like you're filling it with your dog's food. Step number four, place the empty food bowl on the ground in front of your dog. Wait for him to investigate, see there is nothing there, and look at you. As soon as he looks at you, praise him and add a little bit of food to his bowl. Gregory's ready to go. Yes! Awesome. Eye contact, add a little bit of food to her bowl. Yes! Eye contact, add a little bit of food to her bowl. Awesome! Yes! Awesome. Eye contact, add a little bit of food to her bowl. Good job. Step number five. As soon as your dog has finished eating the food you have put in the bowl, wait for him to look at you again and continue putting food in his bowl. Step number six, repeat this step until all your dog's food has been eaten. We're gonna add a little variation as well during this step. I'm gonna walk away from Gray's food bowl and then back again, wait for eye contact and then give her more food in her bowl. This shows your dog that you approaching their food bowl means they're going to get more food and you are a positive part of their feeding experience. All right, so we're gonna walk away, come back. Yes! Awesome. Walk away. 
Yes! Awesome. Good job. Good job. One more time. Yes! And as you can see, Gray is really enjoying this game. She's doing the happy tail wag. Awesome. There we go. Awesome. Good job. Step number seven. The next stage is to practice walking by your dog's empty food bowl and throwing a piece of high value food, such as your dog's favorite treat or chicken in it. I'm going to use one of Gray's favorite treats, which is all real meat dog jerky. Every time you approach your dog's empty food bowl, they will continue to learn that your approach means something super good. Empty food bowl. Walk away. Come back, take a treat. I thought you only treat. We're gonna walk away. Awesome. Awesome. Good job. Awesome. Good job. Step number eight. The last stage of this training exercise is to throw a delicious treat into your dog's food bowl as he is in the process of eating his meal. By this time, they should be much more relaxed by your presence near their food bowl and should be able to accept you being close to them as they eat. Okay, go quick, okay? Awesome. Resource guarding can be a very dangerous behavior to work with. So make sure you bring in a qualified, humane dog trainer in your area to help you work through this very common behavior problem. We hope you enjoyed today's video and learn more about your dog's behavior at the same time. If you want to continue seeing awesome dog training content featuring me, the island dogs, and a husky, then click thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to our channel. And never miss another episode of Brooke's Weekly Treat. Thanks so much for watching everyone. We'll see you next time and happy training.